Hello and welcome to another Pointy End and with Keith Sutherland away I'm filling in today with our guest Senator Bridget McKenzie. Welcome Bridget. Great to be here Dennis. Bridget, uh, we've just come off a really long uh, election campaign. You're going back into a Senate that uh, would be a hell of a lot messier I would have thought for Malcolm Turnbull and the government than what it was before. I wouldn't agree with that. I do agree with it being an incredibly long campaign and uh, on behalf of the government I apologise to everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's good to have it all over and done with and be heading into the 45th Parliament. What we do have as a Senate is one that's been absolutely reflective of the Australian people's wishes. Previously we had the big parties organising um, preference deals behind the scenes that you as the voter didn't have any idea where your preference was going to end up. This voting system uh, actually truly reflects the wishes of the Australian people and we have what we have. What I do know that the government is committed to doing is working with the opposition, working with the crossbench to ensure that we ensure that we maintain our AAA credit rating and pass as much legislation as we can that we took to the election. Look, I'm actually in favour of um, uh, the, the representation that we have in terms of having, you know, I guess you could call them sectional interest groups too, represented by uh, senators who've gained only a handful of votes in a way, because I, was, I, I guess I'm concerned that the party system in so many cases would, to me, appear to be coming before the interests of the electorate, where a member will stand up and do whatever they have to do for the party as opposed to what might be in the best interest of the electorate. And I've actually put that to a couple of sitting members you know, who've tended to uh, agree, uh, off camera that is. But uh, I guess I would put to you that uh, with the way we have it now, we're probably in a better position in the sense that uh, the two parties must surely have come away from this election learning that, uh, you know, as people suggested before the election, the big, big parties were on the nose. Well, I think what it does show is there's a variety of views held by the Australian people and they have to be respected by the Parliament and the Parliament is an appropriate place for them to be reflected. How will I've that heard change? A lot of, well, I've heard a lot of, you know, commentary around how people feel about One Nation, for instance, or right. how people feel about Senator Jackie Lambie. On the other side of the fence, how people feel about the Greens. The fact remains that people voted for mm. these parties and that need, we need to have a space in our democracy where those views can discuss and debate ideas and come to some resolution and the Senate is the place for that to occur. I love the Senate for the fact that it is proportional representation, that those diversity of views get to be heard and seen and um, participate in democracy. The House of Representatives, it's all about the numbers, brother. Mm. You know, it's all about who's got them, who doesn't. It's very cut and dried um, and quite brutal in that. Whereas the Senate is much more about negotiation. Even mm. previous Senates that I've been involved in, the 44th Parliament, in the 43rd Parliament, were about negotiation. Every point of the agenda in a, in a day in the Senate needs to be negotiated, whether it's a notice of motion, uh, whether who's having questions in question time, whether whose report gets up from their committee inquiry, right down to um, legislative questions. So. Uh, we're a lot more able, I think, to have that conversation. What I do know that our government is committed to doing is working with each and every senator uh, to ensure that they're very clear on the benefits or otherwise of, of any particular piece of legislation and that we take their considerations into account. And I know the ministers are working very, very hard on that account. Well, the outcome, do you think, uh, with so many minor parties and splinter groups and individuals even gaining a, a secure enough vote to get a seat, in either house, is that going to change the way the major parties tackle future elections, do you think? Do, do the parties, Liberal and Labor in particular, look at it and say, because the Nats came out of it pretty well. Nats, can I just say, the success uh, story of the federal election was the National Party. Mm. We held every seat, uh, even one that we held by 0.9% in Queensland, with a national swing of over 3% to hold that in a, in a mining town in, in North Queensland was phenomenal. And we picked up a seat here in Victoria and, you know, I think we had a great election. But that, I think, goes to our local approach and our local focus. I and think, do you see the well, major think, parties changing the way they, they fight an election? Well, they're going to have to. That's right. What, what, what well, sort you, of look at, you look at it, and this is a global phenomenon too, Dennis. Mm. This just isn't here, what we're experiencing here. You look about what's sweeping across Europe, not just the UK, mm. uh, what's happening in France, what's happening in uh, Germany, what's happening in uh, the Netherlands, what's happening in America. In the US, yeah. You know, this is a, 
all politics is local has never been more true. And I think uh, our result at the federal election points to that. People are sick to death of hearing um, slogans from both parties, from both leaders. They're interested in sending people to parliament who are going to make a difference for them, for their family, mm. for their business, for their community. And I think you're, you know, they've trialled a few here, mm. you know, they're trialling a few. Um, and we'll see what becomes of that. And at the end of the day, as is right and just in a democracy, the people will have a chance in three years' time to tell those senators they elected last month what they really think of them. Whether they got it right or not. Correct.